Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and we're here for season six here at SJSU. So hit that like button. This is a new era at quarterback for SJSU as we come into this season ranked at number 17. This is the first season we have been preseason ranked. And let's just look at the preseason All-Americans. Michael Cummings comes in. And I'm looking for this team to really shatter expectations as we do have Josh Tulevsky at quarterback. And we did decide to go with him. Ray Reed, he just wasn't accurate enough for me. He is a senior, but I just think that I just want to give the freshman a chance. I think he's been sitting back and waiting. And so has Ray Reed. I don't want to be unfair to him, but I just think that even though they're the same uh, attributes, I think that Tulevsky is the better quarterback. So Jordan Armstead is going to be listed as a third wide receiver on the depth chart, but he's going to be lined up on the outside in most formations. Jay Taylor will play a lot of slot. Tyree Jordan gets to start at tight end. He is a speedy one. I wanted to kind of add that speed onto the field. We have the all-senior offensive line. That's going to be interesting. Luther Bridges will get to start at left end. I want to see what he can do there. And then Emmanuel Thomas who was our starting right end last year, lost this spot, he gets it back. And Jordan Mann, the true freshman, 6'4", 275. He's got the pass rush moves that the other guys don't have, Sherman Kurtz and also Neil Bonds. So I'm giving him the start at defensive tackle. I'm excited to see what, to, to see what he can do. And then looking at our linebacking core, it's a bunch of veterans. I mean, Adam Murphy is a definitely an unsung hero of the defense and special teams unit last year. I'm excited for him to get his first full year starting Marcus Daniels and then Zamir Hines starts at strong safety. So here we go. We are kicking off season six and here is Champagne Green back to receive the opening kick and he's not even going to get back to the 20 as here comes Denzel Knox projected to be one of the top players in next year's draft. He returns and hopefully get to national championship. So here we go, running the ball with him right away and he is losing a yard on that play. And that brings it to a second and 11. Here's Slevsky, faces some pressure. He goes down right away. And that's a loss of 11 as Abrams came in unblocked and we get it to a third and 23. Tulevsky in the pocket, he's gonna move a little bit. He's gonna go down and that's a safety. What a way to open your career here with SJSU with the safety. That's got to leave a bad taste in your mouth. And here comes South Carolina. They are number seven in the nation. And they have a big, strong quarterback in Williams. So here he is handing off to Campbell. And there's James Jackson Jr. with the tackle behind the line. And that's a way to start out the defensive play here for the Spartans this season. So here's Williams throwing the ball deep on a third and 10. That's going to be picked off by Andrew Jordan. And he's going to take this one back to the outside to about the 32-yard line. And what a play. Already starting out with an interception. So now here comes Tulevsky back out onto the field. Here is Raheem Akusi helping his young quarterback out, getting open for a gain of 14 and a first down. So now close to the 50-yard line. Here's Denzel Knox. He's moving his way up, and you know he's going to have a beast of a year, especially since we have kind of a different offense. It's kind of the same play calling, but we have to spread this ball around a little bit more because Tulevsky is a little more accurate. I'm excited to kind of air it out with him. So here is on a second and 10 handoff to Denzel Knox. He's trying to get it to the outside. He's going to fight his way forward for just a gain of five. So now at the 20-yard line, third and five. Here is Knox out of the backfield. He's wide open, but Tulevsky can't hit him. It's a little bit of the jitters, and we do end up settling for the field goal here on that drive. So now in a 3-2 game, here is Williams throwing across the middle. He's got Davis, and that's a gain of 12 there for Trent Davis. And now they get it to about the 50-yard line. Here's a counterplay to the outside. Campbell picks up a couple of blocks, and he makes a man miss, and he's getting pushed out by Zamir Hines on that one. And now Campbell is setting this team up close to the 30-yard line with a chance to get into field goal range. Here's a throw off to Whitworth, who takes a big hit from Hines, and that is going to be a gain of 18 
as they move inside the 10 yard line. So now a second and eight, Williams, he's gonna try to scramble out this time. He's not getting away, he's gonna cough it up and Brown falls on it and Hines comes up with another hit. Hines has had three big hits already on this drive and now they get into a third and nine. Williams, this time he's gonna throw it to the right side. He's finding Rodgers but not getting up enough for the goal line, even close. And they end up settling for the field goal. So now in a five to three game, here's Denzel Knox starting out the next drive with the draw play up the middle, only getting a gain of four. So now from the pistol formation, here's a counter play to Daniel Dunn, the true freshman who comes in from Washington, Indiana. 6-1-2-22, I'm excited for what he's gonna do. And he's definitely gonna be kind of the bell cow just in case something happens to Denzel Knox, we'll see. Now third down, here's Tulevsky. He's under duress so far in this first quarter as we punt the ball away to start the second. So now here comes Williams back out onto the field. He's throwing out to the right side. He's got Whitworth for a 10 yard reception on that one, making it a second in inches. Here's a option play out to the left and he's taking a big hit. That's Adam Murphy on that tackle. Take another look. He goes in unblocked and just lays out Kevin Williams. And now they get it to a third and six. Here is Williams from the shotgun. He's gonna throw out to the left and he's gonna put some touch on it and it's gonna be caught by Sean Dodson. That's a great throw by Kevin Williams and that's a first down here for South Carolina. So now they run a man in motion, handing it off to Campbell. Campbell's got an open lane. He gets up the middle, breaks the tackle and he's inside the 10 yard line. That was a quick 28 yards. He's got some speed to him, eight carries for 65 yards already. Here's a handoff up the middle. This time Campbell is going to spin his way up inside about the one-yard line. And that brings us to a third and goal. Here's Williams trying to run the ball up the middle. But he gets stopped here. And now it brings us to a fourth and goal. They're going to line up to go for it. Williams, Campbell right next to each other. Fourth and goal. Here's a handoff to Campbell. He's going to get tackled. But he's going to fight into the end zone for the touchdown. Take another look. I'm not so sure he got in on this play. And I'm just looking at a side angle here. It looks like his knee is down right before the ball crosses the plane. So we end up challenging it. And that ends up standing. I can't believe that they gave that to him. I mean, take another look at this. This is a perfect angle. This ball is not across the goal line and their knee is down. That should have been our ball. So now here comes South Carolina with a 12 to three game. We're out back on offense. Here is Jordan Armstead getting his first reception of his college career. And that's a gain of 11. So here on a first and 10, Tulevsky, he can't run like Javon Jennings. He coughs it up and Simmons falls on it. He breaks one tackle and breaks another and loses 10 yards. I, I gotta get used to, you know, playing with Tulevsky still. I'm used to playing with Jennings. Jennings can move a little bit. Here is Spencer Davis over the middle. That's a nice throw though. And that's one thing I'm looking forward to. That accuracy is definitely a lot accurate than Drayvon Jennings. Jennings was uh, a little spotty. I mean, sometimes he would be on, sometimes he would be off. Here's a throw out to the right side. There's Jordan Armstead there for his second catch of the game, getting a gain of six. So now here's a handoff up the middle. Here's Denzel Knox fighting off a couple of tacklers and getting 10 yards. And I really like Knox and what he's gonna bring to the table this year. I think he's going to be even better because this offensive line is even older. And I mean, this is an all senior offensive line. I mean, they have the experience and I think they're going to block well for Knox here on a counter play inside the five. That's a three yard touchdown run for him. And he gets in and he makes it a two point game here, 12 to 10. So now two minutes left here in the first half. Williams, he's going to try to scramble out and he's only picking up a gain of three on this one and bringing it to a third and seven. Dual backs back in the backfield. Williams from the shotgun. He's gonna try to scramble out to the right. He's getting sacked and that's gonna be a quick punt. And that time Emmanuel Thomas gets credited with the sack. So now a minute left here in the first half. Here's Raheem Makusi over the middle. He's got a gain of 14 and he's gonna move the chains across the 50. So first and 10, another snap from the shotgun. He throws in the traffic. That's Jordan Armstead, but he can't hold on. That was a perfect pass, but maybe even setting this guy up to get hit on that. 
So third and 10. Here's a throw out to the left side. There's Jay Taylor, who's lined up in the slot. He's got a gain of 13, and that's a first down. So now 40 seconds left here in the first half to Levski. He's going to scramble out to the right and get rid of it on the run. And Denzel Knox gets a gain of 15 as he runs over two guys. And now there's 25 seconds left. Here's Zalewski, another clean pocket. He's going to throw over the middle. Champagne Green can't hold on. His receivers are kind of letting him down so far. He's had good throws, but his receivers are just not holding on. So now on a third and 10, he throws out to the left side, and that one is going to be incomplete as we do end up kicking the field goal and settling for three, making it a 13-12 to 12 game. South Carolina gets the ball back here. Only 10 seconds left in the game. They're probably going to run the clock out, but no, they decide to actually pass this one, and he's going to get sacked, and it's going to be picked up. James Jackson Jr., the sack on the play from Michael Bailey, the new replacement for Andre Armstead, gets pushed to the ground, gets up, and he gets on Kevin Williams, and Kevin Williams coughs it up, and look at us. We capitalize, kick the field goal, making it a six-point swing there at the end of the first half. What a game it's been as Tulevsky is just getting his college career started. Here comes the second half. So now on to the second half. Here is South Carolina starting out with the ball. Kevin Williams in the shotgun. He's going to drop back to pass, throw out to the left side, and that's going to almost be picked off by Heoli Minaga. He did that all year last year. I mean, there was a bunch of easy interceptions he just let go through his hands. So Williams, he's got a clean pocket. Gotcha, this time bitch. trying to scramble out, but it's going to collapse on him. That's a sack from James Jackson Jr., his second sack of the game. He's having a beastie game so far. So now here is Tulevsky on the next drive. Play action fake. He's going down. Loss of four yards. He's sacked by Shane McClellan. So now second and 14. Tulevsky throw out to the right side. He's got Jordan Armstead. You could already see the chemistry forming between these two. So third and three. Here's Knox getting to carry up the middle. And that's only a gain of three. But we line up to go for it here on a fourth and one at the 45. Handoff. Denzel Knox is going to get it. He breaks a tackle, breaks another one, and make it one more. A gain of 18. And Denzel Knox is having himself a game so far. So four minutes left here in the third quarter. Tulevsky, he's going to move out to the right. He's going to throw that way too. He's got a man open, and that's Mark Harrell, the walk-on uh, sophomore from last year. Remember, he walked on, and he's just been stepping up ever since. Kind of like Carl Wolf. Carl Wolf was an initial walk-on, and so was Mark Harrell as Denzel Knox does finish off this drive. And now we make it a 23-12 game, and we've come back gotcha, pretty much unanswered here in the third quarter. So here is Luther Bridges getting in for his first sack of the season. Remember, he's getting the start at end, and I want to see what he can do on the next play. 30-19, that's Andrew Jordan almost getting his second interception of the game as Williams has only been able to throw the ball for 69 yards so far in this game. So now, as this third quarter does wind down, there's Denzel Knox, carry of nine. Third and one, throw to the right side. There's Akusi. He's getting the first down, holding on to it in traffic, and that's what you got to do. You got to hold on to it and uh, sustain these big hits, and it's just going to happen. So now, first and 10. Here's a throw out to the left side. There's Jay Taylor. He's getting open for a gain of 13. He takes a big hit on that one, but it's a first down. A minute and a half left. Throw out to the right side. Baldwin, seven yards. I like these quick throws that I'm seeing from Tulevsky. He throws it on time and on target. Second and three. Throw out to the middle of the field. There's another one. That's Raheem Akusi getting to about the 10-yard line. So now, second and six. Now we're at the six. Here's a handoff to Knox. This time he's going to get a hit. He's going to cough it up, and McClellan is going to fall on it. Wow. So we drive all that way, all those dink and dunk passes, always perfect, and then that happens. You can't make this stuff up. So now here comes South Carolina out on the next drive. Campbell starts out the drive with the carry. He's getting a gain of eight as now we have to kind of stop them because, you know, we're pretty much in the driver's seat. We got to do what we can versus this South Carolina team who is ranked seventh in the nation, but not that time. Kevin Williams tries to run out, and look who it is. It's the freshman Jordan Mann on the tackle, and we forced the punt. 
So now we got the ball. Six minutes left here in the game. Daniel Dunn, he gets a handoff up the middle, and that is a nice gain of about nine on that as Tulevsky is in the shotgun once again, facing a blitz. He's going to throw the ball deep, and it's knocked down, and that was close. Jordan Armstead almost had that one. So now third and ten, six minutes left. Tulevsky, he's getting hit on the throw, and he's going down. A loss of eight. Zach Turner on the sack, and we have to punt that one right back to South Carolina. So here's Campbell on the next drive, picking up four yards, starting it out as this clock does continue to move. Four minutes left. Another handoff. Campbell, but this time he stops in the backfield. That's Hayoli Managa on that again, and we forced the punt. So I'm surprised that South Carolina punted on that one. I, I thought they were going to go for it. But now they give the ball back. Can we run this clock out and perhaps put this game out of reach? There is Denzel holding on to the ball this time. He picks up about a gain of four. So third and three. Here's Selevsky. He gets sacked on that one. We had a couple of open guys we just missed. And South Carolina just sends an all-out blitz. And they get to Tulevsky. So we had to punt the ball out to him. So now two minutes left here in the game. Williams, he's going to throw the ball deep on the first play, and that's almost picked off for the third time this game by Andrew Jordan. And Kevin Williams gets lucky. So now two minutes left exactly, third and ten. Here is Williams. He's got a clean pocket. He's getting hit on the throw, and that is almost going to be a sack on that one. But now they line up to go for it here on a fourth and ten. They have to. Here is Williams. Throw out to the sideline. He's got Reese. And Kevin Reese is wide open, and that's an easy first down. So here's Williams on a first and 10. Throw out to the right side. He's got Whitworth, another catch, a gain of 15, and he's putting some touch on these throws here on the final drive. Here is Williams this time. Clean pocket again. He's going to chuck this one deep. He's got a man, dots it, and somehow makes the adjustment. And Josh Hemphill cannot make the adjustment and knock it down. But his receiver does, Dotson, and now they're inside the five-yard line. So Williams, five wide receiver set. Here he is, another clean pocket. Where is the pressure? And we finally get to him. That's James Jackson Jr., his third sack of the game. I mean, he's having himself a great game. He's got a forced fumble. He's got a fumble recovery, three sacks, and five tackles for loss. So here is Williams on the next play, third and goal. He's throwing out to the left side. He's got Reese. How did he find that crease open in the end zone? And now they make it a five-point game, looking to make it a three-point game. Here's the handoff, Campbell. He's going to throw the stiff arm, and he gets in. So now it is just a three-point game here, under a minute left here in the game. So they do line up to kick the onside. And it's going to be kicked, and it's going to be recovered. Sammy Baldwin on that one. And that one should seal the game as all we have to do is get a first down. And we're going to do just that here on a third and six. Here's a handoff to Denzel Knox. He's got a wide open hole, breaking a couple of tackles. And we get our first win with Tulevsky at quarterback to open up season six. We upset so South Carolina on the road, number seven in the nation. But look at the game that James Jackson Jr. He actually had four tackles for loss, three sacks, seven tackles. A forced fumble and a fumble recovery. What a game from him in his first game being the de facto starter. Because remember, he did start last year, but he was kind of overshadowed a little bit by Andre Armstead. Now he's got a chance to be a star. I'm really looking forward to what he's going to be doing rushing the passer. So our offense did look good. I got to admit, we did, especially with Tulevsky in his first game. I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I wanted to ride out Denzel Knox a little bit just to get Tulevsky comfortable, but I think I can let it loose with him. He is a lot more accurate than Drayvon Jennings. I really like that about him. We did get seven sacks as a team as well, so that's a good start to this year, and we'll see how the rest of the year goes. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. 1-0 here in Season 6. What an opener. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.